Hello guys and welcome back to this channel, where today guys I'll be showing you how to get audit trails in DocuSign. Now guys, the first thing that you actually need to do is go to DocuSign.com and you'll be greeted by a website like this. Now guys, when you're here, you just need to go of course and log into your profile. But guys, if you do not have one, you can always go and register to DocuSign. But guys, if you do not know how to do that, you can always go to our YouTube channel where we have plenty of how to DocuSign videos where you can see how you can do this. Now, guys, that we got that out of the way, let's see what we actually have in front of us here. So as you can see here, we have the uh, your profile and your home page where you can see that you can get started and then you can adopt your signature. So you can do that first and you can start creating your own signature. Also, we have the manage where, guys, you can see a lot of stuff here. So here we have the inbox, the sent, drafts, deleted stuff, bulk send, and a lot of quick views, action required, waiting for others, etc. You can go and load all here. And we have the search inbox and folders box here. Also, we have the templates. As you can see, here you have, as you can see, you can go and create your own template. So resending the same and envelope. So you can go and try creating your new template here. We have your reports where you have all of your reports stored in one place. So basically no results at the moment because I don't have any at the moment, but be sure when you have some, they'll be here. And we have the settings guys, where you can go and see all of the settings from this actual website. It just uh, has to load for a bit, a bit, but the deal you have all of your settings. Now guys, let's see how you can actually get an audit trails in DocuSign. You can select a contact file name from dashboard view or contact view. Select the audit trail at the bottom of the labels panel, then review the contact change and login is need, and then select audit trail again to close the window. And guys, that will be everything for this video. I hope that you found this video informative. If you did, guys, don't forget to like this video, share it, subscribe to the channel, put the notifications on. And guys, as always, I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye, guys.